Welcome back to Pirate Studios. This is gonna be a short one today. I just wanna show off something that I just purchased that just for kind of uh, taking on the go. And also if you've got your main mixer or your main interface taken up by drums, which mine, are, mine is right now. So I bought one of these. This is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. And I just gotta say, I got it on Amazon for like $39.99. And so I think it's regular $49.99. Um, and I just gotta say, for getting the job done, this is it. You're hearing it right now. Um, the microphone that I'm using up ahead, up above, is going through, it's going through my preamp. I got a tube preamp right here that you can't really see. It's an art. I need to, I guess this is kind of a, re a review of that too, if you if you want to know the truth. But I mostly use that for vocals and I'm going through that and I'm going into my Pro VLA, Art Pro B VLA um, compressor. This is a two channel compressor and I, I really only use one channel for in this for vocals. Um, but, and then it's going right here into the into the audio interface. Um, so this has got the combo jack, it's got the XLR microphone, and then it allows you to plug in an input to if you want to do that. And then it's got a second one right here for another guitar, which, so that's exactly how I've got that one running right now. And then what I've done is I've used the headphone jack going to my stereo, um, and it, you know, it does have direct monitoring, in case you want that. Um, I have phantom power on over here. I don't know why, because you don't. I don't need. You don't need phantom power if you're running through a pre a tube preamp and a compressor. But but if you do need phantom power and you're just you're gonna go without a compressor and all that, it does come with phantom power. Um, and I guess it's it doesn't really say if it's both. Well, obviously it's gonna be. It's going to only be this one because it doesn't make no sense to put um, phantom power on a quarter inch jack. So um, there's that. And then so the only, it's got the USB, it comes with the USB cable, which is, which is good. So um, the only downfall for me if, is it's not really ideal for mixing. Um, it'll get the job done. And if you're if you're like me right now, I've just got my stereo, my monitors aren't hooked up because I don't have my full size interface. So this is just a left and a right. It's not balanced. You need balanced if you're going to go to monitors. Um, and the bigger ones, the bigger interfaces normally have balanced um, quarter inch jacks, and that's what that's what these are for. Um, so anyway, now um, so I'll let you hear. Actually, right now, the, the the input volume on the mic above here that I'm using, it's an overhead mic. Um, it's uh, it's down all the way. I, the only time I ever turn these up, out, output is just, that's output. Output, that's that one. That's the volume for that one, the input volume, and that's the input volume for that one. The only time I ever turn either one of these up is when I'm, going clean on the guitars they don't um i use single coils um whenever i'm playing clean so i they're they're not as loud and they don't have as much volume as a humbucker so i wound up having to turn it up the problem with it is i'll let you hear i'll let you hear um a little something let me, let's go over the computer here and let's load up an amp sim here I just got bias effects today. No. So you got all, that's just a regular high gain. That's just a regular high gain sound. I'm gonna put this on my dominator. Okay, now that, that, now it has a gate on it. But let's turn this gate off. Now, whenever I, turn up the input on the guitar when you get about uh, 
let's see. Probably around, probably around one o'clock, maybe. I know you can't see that one, so I'm just going to show you here. Right when you get about one o'clock, the the input really starts to make a bunch of noise. So I'll let you hear right here. That's up all the way. That's twelve o'clock. Right one one o'clock. Right in the middle of one and two. Got a bunch of noise. So especially when you're using a single coil, you need to turn it up. So um, and then let's hear the input one that my, the mic is going through. I'm gonna let's see him at it's 12 o'clock, one, three. That's up all the way. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, that was real loud. So yeah, it doesn't have all that noise. Maybe because it's an XLR cable and uh, th this one, it's going through my pedal board and then to the to that. So um, that might be why, because uh, it's not very grounded in this room so you know even without the gate if I don't do anything the, that volumes down all the way and this is without the gate but you get that with high gain amps too so So, um, the only other thing I got to say about this is it's, it's good to know. I found a video online of a guy, uh, a guy ha that had one of these. If you go to Behringer's website, they're going to tell you to download the ACO for all, ASIO for all driver for this. Now, I did that, and it gives me a lot of stupid noise popping and crap and it could just be it's probably it's probably has a lot to do with my computer because my computer has um am3 and um they i heard that they had a lot of problems with their usb drivers so that could be the problem but i found another driver um and i will link that in the description that is just a usb line in behringer driver and it doesn't give me that that problem at all the only thing with it is is you can't really change the sample rate about it uh, of it it just pretty much stays at 256 um and let's go over here and i'll show you reaper right here uh let's see well it, it won't let me show it while i'm recording but um anyway it uh it we won't let you change that and it'll only let you change the bit rate and it's pretty much set on 24. I don't remember. Anyway, other than that, hey, it's great. And for the price, it's it's plastic and it's cheap, but it works. It doesn't have the Midas, it doesn't have the Midas preamps like the more expensive interfaces of this kind. But uh, it's a name that I know. So out of the names that I know, Behringer, it's the cheapest interface for just microphone. And guitar or if you don't even need a microphone you just want to jam out with your guitar it's great and it handles all the audio of the computer very well um, I, so I've got my keyboard plugged in and I can play my keyboard and it's all the audios outputting from the headphone out into my stereo so it works out great anyway if you enjoyed this hit the like sub like button and please subscribe to the channel We'll see you next time.